Okay, uh, Jeff Hardy has been suspended by AEW in the aftermath of his DUI arrest. AEW President CEO Tony Khan issued a statement on Tuesday announcing Hardy is suspended without pay, can only return to the company after completing treatment and maintaining his sobriety. Khan wrote that Hardy has indicated he's open to receiving treatment. Quote, we are able to resume contact with Jeff Hardy this afternoon. AEW does not condone, uh, condone Jeff's alleged behavior. We made it clear to Jeff that we will assist in getting treatment for substance abuse issues, which he has indicated he is open to receiving. In the interim, he is suspended without pay. He can only return to AEW upon successfully completing treatment and maintaining his sobriety. And then he sends out the information if you or a loved one needs help, reach out to SAMHSA's National Helpline, 1-800-622-HELP. For those of you with cell phones, 1-800-662-4357. Apparently, the reason they uh, made no announcements yesterday was because uh, they have. I guess he wanted to t actually talk to Jeff Hardy uh, before making this announcement. Obviously, uh, yesterday, I think during the show, you know, they were probably still trying to figure out what they were going to do. And uh, I think when this when this news first came out, uh, there were not cooler heads, and then apparently cooler heads prevailed, and Tony decided, okay, well. You know, this is my idea. But obviously, you got to run it by Jeff. You know, are you willing to consider rehab? Because I think if Jeff said no, they just fired him. I don't know that for sure, but uh, this seems to be something that they uh, that they discussed together. Matt Hardy tweeted, It was disheartening to hear the news about my brother yesterday. Recovery is not a linear process. I will continue to do whatever I can to help my brother be healthy. Being healthy and well is the most important thing for Jeff, his wife, his children, and our family at this time. Footage of his arrest was released, TMZ first to publish the video, which shows three police officers drawing their guns. An officer can be seen approaching the passenger side door of the vehicle, quickly pointing his firearms toward Hardy in the driver's seat. A second officer approaches with his gun drawn as well. A third officer approaches before Jeff exits the car. We got several 911 calls on you, an officer can be heard saying. Do you know why we might have gotten some calls? You were all over the road. What's going on with that? The officer asked before saying he could not hear Hardy's response. Officer would later say they got three or four 911 calls before uh, all reporting Hardy's driving. Hardy mentioned that he has a doctor's appointment upcoming to have a brain scan. Later in the video, he admits to having drank shots of fireball before getting behind the wheel. At the end of the video, one of the officers informs Hardy that he is under arrest Notes, the time is 9.45 a.m. Arrest records show he was booked at 12.45 later in the day. So this was 9, 9.54 in the morning? I thought the uh, the earlier reports were that it was like in the middle of, like late at night or something like that. This is 9, 9.54 a.m. apparently. So he was arrested. He was put in jail. 0.294. It's insane. 0.294. That's almost quadruple the legal limit facing charges of DUI, driving with a suspended license, violating an interlock restriction. Which, by the way, how do you do that? How do you get into the car? <laughs> Jeff's third DUI arrest since 2018, bailed out at uh, on a $3,500 bond, and uh, quite frankly, I mean, he's not in the ladder match tonight. And uh, Discovery was told to, quote, stop all promotion of Jeff Hardy in any commercials or anywhere else immediately. We'll get Mike Sots after the break. If he has any. Back in a moment, Observer Live. He is a former bar manager, or maybe currently, I don't even know. How much you got to drink to blow a point two nine four? Well, let's just say he's like 200 pounds. I mean, there's a lick... Liquor store business mostly, but yeah, bars, bars as well. But like, if he's two hundred pounds, I mean, that's like drinking like twelve or fifteen shots or twelve or fifteen twelve ounce beers in like an hour to get up to that level. Like, he was obviously in a stupor. They had to pull weapons. That's what on they him said. Because, they actually use that term. He was in yeah. a stupor. I mean, that's that's I, that's I think the I don't know if it's the it's the accepted term. I don't know if it's the legal term, but that's where you're at. And to be honest. Where you go after that, like 0.35 with a guy with a lot of mileage on him, that can kill you. Like it, it can absolutely kill you. Once you get to 0.4, 
it's absolutely going to kill you. That's how close this guy was. And I didn't also realize until just before we went on the air that this was in the morning, which doesn't really make a difference except for the fact that watching the cars go by on the busy highway and the tractor trailers and everything, it's like... It, it, it could have been a horrible tragedy, and it's happened too many times over and over again. And I know Matt said he's exactly right. It is not linear. Recovery is not linear. Recovery is different for everybody. But there's a line in there where it says it only works if you work it. And Jeff Hardy has several times said, no, I'm good. I'm, I'm not going to work it. I'm fine. He is not fine, and he needs to get the help. His employment for AEW rides on that. I don't know whether he'll care about that or not. He's got a history of really not caring about that, but we'll see. We'll also see if he ends up in Tijuana. I guess he's not going to be in Tijuana this weekend for AAA. I would, I would think not. I would hope not. I want to talk about the issue that he was uh, telling the officers he had to go for a brain scan. You got to go to a, for a brain scan, but you're doing a ladder. You're scheduled for a ladder match on Wednesday, dude. I know there's a lot of people, and I know people are going to jump all over AEW. And AEW is the one where it's it's uh, the most public. But dude, there's a lot of injuries all over this business at every major company. I don't want to say that people are like hiding their injuries, but there are definitely people. Actually, I will say that. There are people hiding their injuries, and there are other injuries that have come out, and uh, there's just a lot of badly beat-up people, and uh, I think that every company needs to take better care in the sense that if someone is clearly hurt, don't book them. Don't ask them. Just don't book them. If you ask them, they're going to they're gonna want to do it. This so feels you, like vanity stuff You just stuff have anyway. to pretty much say no. I don't mean to jump on the Bucks. I guess I am jumping on the Bucks. Like, you got your match with the Hardy Boys. They won. You had them, them win. Cool. You got to live your your dream, and that was awesome. But, like, it probably should have happened as soon as the Hardys went in there. But, okay, hindsight's twenty twenty. You had the match. Like, <laughs> these are, issues aren't new. On top of the fact that they're not fresh. And it really Wait, what's this have to do with anyway. the Bucks? Because why are they having a ladder match? Well, this has nothing to do with the Bucks. Tony's the one that booked the match. Okay, well, Tony then. I, I guess yes. I'll, then I'll put it all on Tony then. But, like, shouldn't somebody step up and go, okay, we, we had the match. That was cool. Like, exit stage left for a while until you, either you're ready to come back or whatever because they got a zillion teams that are more effective than the Hardys anyway that they're not using. I just think we had the match. We got it out of the way. It should have been over um, um, at double or nothing. That's me. Rusty. Rusty Rose, 10, 4, 86. <laughs> dusty. Is it Rusty or Dusty? <laughs> it's, uh, it's Dusty. Harmon Blanchett. <laughs> Okay, out of ring. <laughs> Herman and Blanchett. <laughs> Harlan. Way back then, they had cha chain barricades. <laughs> and then they had a tag team with Rich Fl uh, Rick Flair and some more guys. And so that was that. I'm just too good. Who, who <laughs> did Rusty Rhodes wrestle? If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.